On episode 234 of He Said, She Said Movie Reviews, we take a look at the movie Vengeance. Welcome to He Said, She Said Movie Reviews. This is the podcast where a happily married couple with similar but different movie tastes take a quick, spoiler-free look at the movies, helping you make the right decision before your next movie. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm April. So we just got back from seeing Vengeance, and I'm going to go ahead and give my score first. Go ahead. This is the best movie I've seen in 2022, and I give this full five stars. Wow, good for you. I agree. It was fantastic. I'm going to give it a solid four. It was great. All right, we'll tell you all about it right after these two trailers. All right. The first one was Don't Worry Darling, a 1950s housewife living with her husband in an experimental community begins to worry what his glamorous company may be hiding disturbing, you know, which disturbing secrets. Release date, September 23rd, 2022, starring Florence Pugh, Olivia Wilde and Chris Pine. Uh, A lot of people are talking about this movie. I think it I don't know how I feel about it. You know, I meant to look up and see if this was kind of a remake of The Stepford Wives. This looks really bizarre and strange, but it's uh, it's definitely one I'll see in the theater. I I don't know if Olivia Wilde is the director on this. I think she is. But I, I really look forward to seeing this, too. And the second one, Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. This looks hilarious. In the aftermath of a huge scandal, um, the first lady of a prominent Southern Baptist megachurch attempts to help her pastor husband, Lee Curtis Childs, rebuild their congregation. The release date, September 2nd, 2022. And anyone that knows me knows I'm obsessed with Regina Hall. Love her, Sterling K. Brown and Nicole Bahari. This looks hilarious. I've already put it on the calendar. Oh, yeah, it looks hilariously funny. Yeah, so. All right, so Vengeance, a writer from New York City, attempts to solve the murder of a girl he hooked up with and travels down south to investigate the circumstances of her death and discovers what happened to her. The director is B.J. Novak. Uh, He's known for... This is his first feature yeah. film credit, credit, but he's he's directed The Office, The, office, the, the Mindy, Mindy Project, Project, and The Premise. Uh-huh. And it was also written by B.J. Novak, who's also, you know, wrote, this is his first feature film, too, right. writing credit, but he's also known for The Office, The Mindy Project, and right. of course, The Premise. Wow. He did fantastic. All right, you want to talk about the cast? Sure. This has B.J. Novak, of course, playing the, the title role, Boyd Holbrook, Dove Cameron, uh, Isa Ray, Ashton Kusher, Isabel Amara, J. Smith Cameron, Lip Tipton, Eli Bickle, and Luann Stevens. Runtime is 107 minutes, rated R for language and brief violence. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Honestly, I, I, I really meant it. This is, is so far the best movie I've seen yeah. in 2022. Um, if, if B.J. Novak isn't up for in, during their award seasons for this movie, something is, is yeah. super crazy. This movie was funny. Yep. It was kind of a black comedy. Yeah, it was a little heavy, it too. It was a little heavy at times. And yeah. it has a really, the theme and tone in this movie, it's, it, it's, it's a satire of modern America. And I, I think it holds a mirror up to our faces and says, hey. Look at what's going on here. Yeah. And by the way, Tim kind of took me dragging because I'm sensitive sometimes. Uh, movies with the South, I, I don't want it picked on or, you know, I, I have my own uh, grading system, if you will. But the acting was phenomenal. Ashton Kutcher did steal the movie. Oh, absolutely. And I didn't even know he was in the movie. I, didn't, I, I don't recall seeing him in the he trailers. He did it in a way that you don't really know it's him. He was so low key, but yet dead on 
I oh, mean, yeah. there were several times in this movie, there were a couple conversations that, I mean, I, the hair stood up on, on my arms. We'll I, talk I just, about that when yeah. we get down to the yeah. dialogue, darling. But I do want to say that everyone's acting. All the characters, the development, how they, the chemistry. I mean, and, and that goes to the direction, Tim. It was very well directed. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Loved I, it. I think B.J. Novak did a phenomenal job. I think he's a very talented oh, gosh, yes. writer, director. I don't necessarily think he's the, the greatest actor. I think he pl- pretty much plays the same character all the time. Right. But, but this, boy, his writing. Yeah. Oh, man. Hats off. Wouldn't miss anything else coming down the pike. Yeah. I'd be there on opening night. Um, the score, <laughs> This I'm, I'm going to read you my notes here on this one. I don't usually like to read my notes. But honestly, the movie was too brilliant for me to notice the score. Oh. I, the opening song, though, was yeah. Solo Cup by Toby Keith. Yeah. And I thought it, that fit the movie perfectly. It did. I, I enjoyed, actually, the score. And, and just, you know, how it progressed. Uh, the cinematography, you know, someone would probably say it's nothing special. Um, it pointed out some bleakness in that part of Texas. But it, it was it was filmed in New Mexico. Yeah, it was, that, it was, that it, was, it was actually filmed in Albuquerque. Right. Which is, you know... <laughs> <laughs> one of my anyone who knows me I know but I'm not a fan I've been there and it, Tim knows I, I I was recruited there once and I they flew me out and I just couldn't do it production design yeah it was fine nothing special there special uh, effects yeah there was very little but right but what there was was fine and I right. can't tell you about any special effects because that would be a spoiler and the editing not noticeable, but I want to talk about the pace. It moved along really well. There was no stall, a tiny little bit slow in places, but the way it built up the relationships, his growth. Oh yeah, well oh, you're getting down to the story yeah. arc now again. I just really he he really grew as a, as a man. I mean, dialogue. Oh yeah, this is where the movie shot. Yes. B.J. Novak's writing was Hats brilliant off. and spot on. And, yeah. and some of the, the things he said were, were just, it was mind boggling. Yeah. But really, the lines he wrote for, for, for Ashton Kutcher's oh character yeah. will leave you thinking yeah. for days. Yeah. There, there were such, Ashton Kutcher's character said so many profound uh, yeah. things. Yeah, and it will make you think. And and that's a good thing. That's what movies are supposed to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the story arc, very satisfying. Um, the character of Ben, he just, he grows so much during the movie, but so do other people, Tim. Oh, yeah. It was really, and it was, you guys, it, it's a powerful movie in a way that doesn't hit you up over the head. No, you're those, right. Those it's are not, the best it's kind. It's not preachy. Right. Right. It's not preachy, but the dialogue makes you think, though. It yeah. really makes you think. Yeah. Many of you know that that for me, when I email or write a personal letter um, to a director or a writer or an actor, that means, wow, like I stopped everything to do that. And I, I wrote him. Um, it, it just, the movie, and, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to see it or not. I knew it'd be good. I know, I know he wouldn't do something that wasn't good, but Tim said, come on, come on. And we went, and I have to tell you, I loved it in a way I did not expect. You know, and it's, it's a hard, it's not easy. It, it's not all easy, but wow, y'all have to see it. Well, and this movie kind of really sneaks up to you like, oh, when yeah. you're watching it, it and, 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 and slaps you in the face. I thought the opening scene, between him and his friend there in New York yeah. was kind of weird, kind of slow. And I was like, oh, is this oh where this movie is going to go? But, but, it sh- but what, I, what I did was it, it establishes how superficial his character was at the start of the movie. Yeah, right? I agree with you. But wow, we've seen some good movies lately and it just gets us excited to keep going back. I, I just, you know what I mean? I mean, we've seen like six or seven really good movies. God, this right. is okay, Hollywood. Let's keep it up. Yeah, I mean, if this is way is this is the way rest of the year is going to be, it's going to be a, 2022 is going to be a good film year. It is. I wanted to talk about. Uh, I love everyone knows Issa Rae is one of my favorites. She was great, um, but I thought the siblings were really good. Yeah, the, the um, guy who uh, played Ty um, Boyd yeah. Holbrook. Yeah, he was really good. And you know who I really also liked too oh. was was the little kid e- e- Eli uh, I, Bickle, whose whose character's name was El Stupido. Yeah, I liked him, but I also loved the two sisters. It yeah. was just interesting. 
And it also made you realize that sometimes an outsider comes in and people will share more with an outsider than they will the people closest to them. And I've talked about this before about strangers in my life. Right. Right. I, you know, it's just amazing, but it's where you are at the time. And it was, this is just, again, hats off. Uh, I wrote him a, a really nice note and I hope he gets it because <laughs> this was great. All right. So this is Vengeance from BJ Novak. Um, once again, April gave this movie four stars uh -huh. and I gave it a stamp of approval. Five stars. So go see it. And it's different too. And that's great. So enjoy. All right. So thanks a lot. We really appreciate you taking the time to listen to our podcast. Uh, we really appreciate you. And you haven't already done so, please tell a friend about the podcast. And thank you so much for all your support. We, we do giggle when we hear from you wherever, by email or by a voicemail, that, that you disagree with us or agree with us. That That's part of why we do this. But keep going to the movies. Keep making sure that, that your support is out there. And um, thank you for all your support. Stay happy, stay healthy. We'll see, see you at, at the, the movies. movies.